is up what is happening what is good guys and welcome back to a new video today's video is going to be a very short video i'm going to call it healthy versus unhealthy okay and basically today you're going to watch me or i'm going to walk through with you um how to change an unhealthy meal or a deemed unhealthy meal into a more healthy meal so into a meal that seems to be a little bit more healthy and all that means is we're just going to change out some of the ingredients uh, and the way that we cook it to make it more food uh the same amount of calories but but food that's better for you okay so i'm going to compare my meal which is going to be homemade burger and chips with a meal like mcdonald's so a big mac a large big mac and fries uh, the calories are around about the same 940 you'll be able to see how much volume we get with my meal compared to a Big Mac. So sit back and enjoy the next three or four minutes. Now we wait. Uh, it's about 25 to 30 minutes normally, uh, but after about 15 minutes, you're meant to flip them over. But I figured out a hack. If you don't flip them over, they still cook the same. So that's what I'll be doing. We're leaving these for 30 minutes, and I'll come back. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Are you ready? It's just come out of the oven, plated it up. Um, yeah, have a look. Okay, so this right here is the healthy alternative. On this plate, we have homemade potato chips, so wedges. That's 400 grams of raw potato, cut up, sliced up, seasoned, put in the oven with fry light, not oil. Well, it's got two Warburton thins, so it's like an alternative to bread. It's not got that many calories in it, that much carbs. Um, I think they're about half, half the thickness of a piece of bread, so I've got two of them. And then inside I've got a reduced fat Sainsbury's burger. So I've got two reduced fat Sainsbury's burgers grilled uh, in the oven, obviously. And 30 grams of Be Good to Yourself by Sainsbury's. So it's like 50% less fat cheese. On top of that, better ketchup and broccoli on the side. And that comes to a total of, of and I'll put the, uh, the calories on the screen. I think it's about 940 calories. One minute, I'll go and get my phone. So, this meal comes to a total of 937 calories. Now, again, that's just because this is my last meal of the day, so I had to eat quite a lot of my calories now. You can reduce that, so you can maybe do 200 grams of potato, one thin, and two burgers on the, on the one um, thin. You don't have to have the cheese. So, yeah, that would reduce it quite a lot. But, yeah, 937 calories. You've got 112 carbs, 23 fat, and 72 protein. So 72 grams of protein, that's a lot of protein again because I missed it during the day. That and the massive meal, so the, all that volume compared to a large Big Mac meal with no drink. And that comes to 1,500 calories, 112 carb, 52 fat and only 32 protein. So again, I think the biggest difference here is there's lower fat, a hell of a lot of protein which in turn makes it that, more, that much more healthier because protein is a nice micro that induces you know, muscle growth and you can reduce the carbs and that. You can probably even reduce the, the fats, but I mean, it's a staple meal. That, that there is a healthy alternative to going to McDonald's. And you get a lot more food. I'm gonna be stuffed after this, but normally I can eat maybe a Big Mac meal, large fries and some chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna smash this. That's been healthy versus unhealthy hopefully i'll carry on this series because i like finding out a, a healthy alternative to this meal and they'll get better if you've liked the video and you found it helpful please don't forget to smash that like button 
subscribe if you have not, comment anything you'd like, I like to interact with you guys, um, and don't forget to share it with your friends or like-minded people that might enjoy finding this out. So yeah, I've been Tom Sanson and this has been a pleasure, I will see you in the next one.